this racing day So right out here I can't hear a thing Man, the fans are going wild These drivers came to rock And no place else but Fox Knows how to do it NASCAR style Buggity, buggity, buggity Let's go racing, boys Hey, now, here we go race day Don't you be going slow Keep that pedal down on the floor Push it to the crowd, can't take no more They bear, since the flag came down Be here to the last lap around Put it all in, it's time to play Hey race fans and welcome to Talladega, Alabama where we are at Talladega Super Speedway for the Aaron's 499. Now the previous season didn't make it this far but we are here streaming to you live. Let's take a look at the top 10 starting lineup. Row 1 is Trent the Hedgie and Isaiah Sidney. Row 2 is NASCAR and Pest 22 and Elijah Sidney. Row 3 is Barney and Ward and Superdog 316. Row 4 is 75 Shoelay 16 and Jack Nathan. And rounding out the top 10 is Connor Breeden and Mitchell Smith. As we get ready for those famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! It is. It's the 38 of Tanner Clatson. And he is going to head down pit road. It's going to be a tough break for him. As we head back to the front. Pace car is now leaving the track. They're heading into the trial. Now, normally the start finish line would be there, but at Talladega, it's at the end of the trial. So we're going to expect some heavy three wide battles as we're about to take the green flag. This is going to be a 10 lap shootout. And, and before heading into turn one, we're already having three wide battles behind them. Trent the Hedgie leads them off as they head into turn two and heading towards the back straightaway. Oops. Ah! Sorry about that. We just had a battle for the lead. NASCAR and Pest 22 just taken from Trip the Hedgie. But behind him is Barney and Ward. Oh, and there goes 75 Chile 16 and 29. Barney and Ward better watch his bumper because 75 Chile has a dirty bag of tricks. And lead that first lap will be, will be NASCAR and Pest 22. And now, now taking the lead is 75 Shoelace 16 in the 29 car. Heading into the back straight away, he continues to lead. And there's the bird's eye view now. 75 Shoelace continue, continues to lead. Under him is his teammate, who just took the lead away. Intimidator 88 is now leading this race, but coming up behind now into the picture is Mr. Phonix Alex, Steam Racer, and NASCAR Ad 24, who came so close to winning last week at Texas, as Intimidator 88 will lead that lap. 
and whoa, and uh oh, and whoa, whoa, we got cars going around, and whoa, it's the big one, it's the big one, whoa, Gov Tracy, and whoa, 75 Shirley 16 is involved, whoa, the yellow flag is out. And here's what happened to cause the big one. Just heading out of turn one, Red Bell slips up on the track and clips the the left rear of Hoover 75, which then he collects Bonnie and Ward. 75 Shirley 16 had nowhere to go, along with Dougie Shears. And it looks like the 21 of Elijah Sidney hits his partner as he got involved. And there goes Michael Anderson heading straight into the wall. With the help of Elias Sidney, and looks like there goes the four of Lisa Shears, the Pats fan 02, Andrew Sidney, Di Cabrab, and other cars involved back here. And Mitchell Smith, he turned around. And there was another wreck regarding near the entrance of the back straightaway. There's two Night Rose 22, and there goes Jason Dyson along with the two of Gov Tracy. And wow, I think that was like half the field. I don't see no other cars getting involved. It's just these back there. There goes the six car of Ty driving by. There's Elijah Sidney. There's Trent the Hedgy. He also got involved. There's Barney and Ward. Oh, oh, oh. And back here, NASCAR and Pest 22 flipped as well as 75 Chile 16. And there's Harvard Kevin 29 back there on the 27. Dougie Shears gets a second hit from 75 Shoe 16. They had a rivalry a couple of weeks ago back in Bristol. I don't know if that was a little payback or what. But both cars are badly damaged. And there's iHeart Naruto on the 46. And there's Hoover 75. That Snickers Camry is kaput. Here we are back at Talladega under caution. Jordan Hetzer is the race leader. He hasn't had a win this year, but he could he could make a surprise. Second place is Intimidator 88. Third place is someone is someone we don't normally see in the front. Ken Griffith in the 48. Right there in fourth is the NASCAR Second Cup points leader, Dark Spike. Running in fifth now is Mr. Phonix Alex in the double zero. Running in sixth is last week's winner, Raven Latteris. Running in seventh right now is Steam Racer. Running in eighth is NASCAR at 24, who came so close and almost winning last week in Texas to Raven Latteris. Coming up in ninth is Logan Wilson, and rounding out the top ten is into sc 4 r I'm telling you, any I'm telling you, at Talladega anything can happen. So don't count out people just yet. We got like another two last precaution. Now for the cars involved in that crash, Gov Tracy is out of the race. I Heart Naruto is out of the race. Harvey Kevin 29 is out of the race. Michael Anderson is out of the race. NASCAR Pest 22 is out of the race. Dougie Shears is out of the race. 75 Chile 16 is out of the race. Hoover 75 is out of the race with a broken header. Die Cabrab is out of the race. And that's it. All those cars will have DNFs. As we will take a short break and be back just in time for the restart. Here we are back at Talladega as we are about to get ready to take the restart. The pace car has already left the track. We are going to restart this race with only three laps to go. Jordan Hetzel will lead them off and as the green flag comes out, numerous cars are getting out of line.
Jordan Hester continues to, to lead him off. And coming up behind is King Griffith in the 48 car. Like I said, don't count out anybody in this race just yet. There's a lot of cars moving into the inside now. As, as here comes last week's winner, Raven Ladderus on the inside. Well, Intimidator 88 just lost a little bit of his health. Still leading this race is Jordan Hetzer. And uh oh, there goes Ken Griffith on the inside. He's going to try to make a move for the lead. Yep, there he goes. And leading that lap is going to be Ken Griffith. And whoa, Ken Griffith continues to lead as Raven Laris is coming up behind him quick. There's a good view of the cars head exiting turn three and going down the back straight away. And whoa, Ken Griffith continues to lead as Raven Laris goes to the outside. That's a bad idea. Now coming up behind Ken Griffith is the 09 of Jack Maiden. There goes the, the 97 of Steam Racer. Now heading into the trial, they're about to come to the white flag. And whoa, coming into the picture now is the 47 of Sean the Dog 97. We haven't heard from him all season. He could be a, a contender to win this race. Also coming up is the 42 of Adam Rose. As he just took away second place, that is Trent the Hedgie's teammate. He's been quiet this season. Ken Griffith better do what he can to protect that lead because these cars are coming. And, and uh oh, there goes Das Capone in the 39 car. Ken Griffith is still leading as they're heading into turns three and four. Now coming down the front straight away. It ain't over till it's over as Ken Griffith go to the outside, but I think that was a bad move because here comes Superdog 316 and that's Kablunde. Uh-oh, this is going to be close. Head into the line and it's going to be... Whoa! Oh, I couldn't tell. And the ticker says Superdog 316 has won this race. Superdog 316 wins the Aaron's 499. Wow, a three-wide battle for the finish. Superdog 316 will take Talladega, his first win of the year. Coming in second is King Griffith. Coming in third is Das Cablande. Coming in fourth is Joe Dyson. Coming in fifth is RJ Darrow. Sixth place is Mr. Phonix Alex. Seventh place is NASCAR Attic 24. Eighth place is Intimidator 88. Ninth place is Adam Rose. And rounding out the top ten is Jordan Hetzer. Congratulations to Superdog 316 for winning the Aaron's 499. Here is what we saw come down the trial. Well, Ken Griffith looked like he had the edge on the outside line. But Superdog 316 just came in there and stole it. And here is a better view right there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Wow. That close. Wow. That was less than a second. I have to look and see how close that was. Congratulations again to Superdog 316 for winning the Aaron's 499.